Okay, hello everybody. My name is Misa, and I'm going to be making tuna mac and cheese. So mac and cheese, I put tuna inside, and then I also put veggies. It's really good as far as having mac and cheese be a little bit healthier and tastier. So we start off with boiling the water, and then um, once the water is boiled, we will put in the mac and um, cheese shells, and then the veggies. Then those will boil for about eight to 10 minutes. And then after that, we will then drain it and then mix everything in. We'll open the tuna, mix it in. Then I do some spices. I like parsley, oregano, sometimes a little bit of rosemary and maybe some pepper. Mix it all up and then it tastes really good. So we will get started first with the water. So this is the easiest part, just putting six cups of water. This is going to take some time, so right now we just have to let the water boil. So we will come back a little later once the water is boiling because that's when we'll do the next step. So it's going to be probably, I don't know, about five, ten minutes before we get to that point. So right now the water is boiling, so we're going to put in the macaroni. I don't measure, I just kind of put however I much I think. So I see, oh, okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, let me get a spoon, stir it up a little bit. And now it's gonna go for about eight to 10 minutes. I'm gonna set the timer. Timer. We'll do 10 to be safe. Little thing is in here. My spoon holder, it's clean. <laughs> All right, and now we let it sit and boil. All right, so while we've been um, cook, having the pasta and the veggies boil, it's actually seven to eight minutes, not 10. And I just tried one, always try one to make sure it's soft enough, so it's good. So now we are going to drain it and turn this off. Always want to be away from the steam because you can also burn yourself from the steam. That is not good. Okay, I got almost all of it. That's okay. As long as you get the most of it out of there. And you shake, you shake, you shake. And you shake, you shake, you shake to get the excess water out. Just turn it around. And I'll make sure you get as much of the water out as possible. Make sure you. So now is the fun part. Okay, we got everything. Then we add the cheese sauce. Kind of shake it a little bit. All right, now we add the cheese sauce. Once I get it open. Okay. Then we add the tuna. And a spoon. Tuna. Get everything out of the can. They can. Don't want to waste anything. We mix. We are going to add some of my seasonings that I like. I do a little bit of oregano. A little bit of rosemary. Last but not least, parsley. I don't know if this one's open though. Oh, I haven't opened it yet, so we'll just not add that one. <laughs> it's gonna take too long to add it. <laughs> now we'll just mix. My family calls it macaroni goulash. But uh, you can call it just tuna mac and cheese, but if you call it macaroni goulash, then you can add other things. Instead of tuna, you can do sausage or hot dogs, which is really good. All right, now we'll try a sample of our final product. Let me get a fork. Mmm. 
Magnifico, very good. And there you go, enjoy your meal.